Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to swap array values in C programming. Here, what we are going to do is we are going to write a program that's going to ask the user for input of numbers. And also user is going to decide how many numbers he is going to input. And after that, it's going to swap each two numbers. Like if you have, for example, if we have two, five, three, seven, it's going to swap two, five first and then three, seven second. So it's going to go like that. Now let's see how to do that. In order to do this one, first I'm going to introduce, like I'm going to declare some integer type of variables, integer and I, S, N, and a and this is going to be an array okay a is for array and here also he we created a temporary variable we can assign anything we want i am just going to assign s for temporary variable because when we do the swapping we always need a temporary variable otherwise it's it cannot be not done because when you equal like for example if you have two values uh, you, if you equate this equate them together one of them is going to be lost right so that's why we create a temporary variable and equalize the first one to that one and then we do the swapping in that way we will serve one of them and do the swapping right so that's why we need a temporary variable right here the next thing is we are going to give a prompt to the user in this prompt we are going to ask the user to enter the limit in this limit the user is going to de decide how many numbers he is going to enter so let's go ahead and give a prompt to the user this is going to be printf statement in this printf statement we are going to say backslash and enter the limit enter the limit okay so this is the prompt to the user and after that the user is going to enter the num uh, limit so this is going to be stored in so in order to get the input we have to create a scanf statement scanf and in this one since this is an integer type of variable we have to put percentage d percentage d and we have to we are going to store this one in n so we have to put ampersand sign since this is a variable we have to put ampersand sign and n and then semicolon and after that we have to create another printf statement another prompt to the user to get the numbers input so if the user enter three limit we the user has to enter three numbers so in order to get the numbers we have to first create a prompt to the user so that's going to be printf backslash n and in this one we are going to say enter the numbers and then the user is going to input the number so depending on the user's uh, limit it has to run that many times so in order to run that many times we have to create a for loop the for loop is going to repeat that one according to the user's input okay so let's go ahead and create the for loop for that and i'm going to initialize that one with zero so since we are initializing this one with zero, we have to have i less than n, okay? And then we are going to do the increment by one each time. Okay, so this is going to be our for loop. And each time we have to get the input from the user because if the user enter five, it has to run five many times to get the numbers, right? So this is going to be scanf. And then here we are going to have percentage d and uh, whatever the number the user enter it's going to be stored in the array we created so this is going to be a i okay that's it for this one now we are going to another we are going to create another for loop to swap the numbers so here we are going to create another for loop and also i'm going to initialize this one with zero so i is equal to zero and then i is less than n i is less than n and uh, as i mentioned before we have to we are going to swap two two numbers each time two numbers like if you have four numbers it's swap first two numbers first and then do the last two numbers second so it's going to go like that so in order to do that we have to do the increment by two i plus two okay so th the next thing is we are going to create an equation for the swapping so first uh, we set the temporary variable to an array to the array so ai and the next thing is we are going to say ai is equal to ai plus one that's the next next number entered i plus one and then next we are going to say ai plus one is the equal to the temporary variable so this is how we do the swapping 
i plus 1 is equal to the temporary variable we created that is s okay now the next thing is we are going to create another for loop another for loop to do the swapping and print the numbers so for loop right here and we have to create a printf statement to print out the final results after do the, did the swapping so here we had to put printf and uh, in this printf statement we are going to put backslash n and percentage d and then whatever the value we swapped it's going to be a either array okay and that's it now let's go ahead and run this one and also i had to finish this one with a curly bracket and that's it let's go ahead and run this one and see how it works okay there are some errors so i uh, there are some errors with the curly bracket so curly bracket here is good this one is good this one looks good this one is good and here we have this one and this one should be open okay this one should be open and here it's closed and let's run this one okay enter the limit for example let's say I'm going to enter four numbers so I put four so enter the numbers let's put 67 80 80 90 or whatever the number you want 7 54 so you can see it just swapped the first no two numbers are swapped 90 67 it became like 67 90 became 90 67 and 87 54 became 54 87 and uh, that's it so you can do this so as many numbers you can you want like you can try big numbers too okay and that's it i hope this helps thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn C or C++ programming, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. And uh, if you are trying to access these codes, it's in my blogger. I put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and see them. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.